Spike, a cute German Shepherd cartoon service animal, flies in a small airplane above Warrior Canine Connections property in Maryland. Spike's plane, you are cleared to land. Hi, kids. I'm hanging out here at Warrior Canine Connection in Maryland with some of my best friends. Quick transition to Spike in an office with a desk behind him. Dogs that are being trained to be service animals to help veterans who have served our country. Check this out. A service dog grabs a piece of fabric tied to a door handle and pulls the door open. A service dog rides on an escalator, followed by a service dog running through a field to his handler. Service dog teams walk around Wegmans grocery store. Dogs walk next to their handlers, and then they sit next to their handlers and wait for their handlers to find the food items they are looking for. A handler sits on a bench and the service dog crawls under her legs to get out of the way of other people. Spike, who moves his head and arms, stands next to Jen Blessing at Warrior Canine Connection. A service dog sits next to Jen. I'm here with Warrior Canine Connection service dog training program manager, Jen Blessing. Hi, Jen. Hi, Spike. Jen, thanks for inviting me. Who is the service dog in training next to you? This is Wolf. What is Wolf being trained to do? So Wolf is being trained to assist someone who has mobility impairment and or PTSD. Quick transition to Spike standing in front of a whiteboard with the text mobility impairment and pictures of people with disabilities appearing underneath the text. Kids, I want to make sure that you know what the disabilities that Jen just mentioned are. A mobility impairment means that someone might have a hard time walking around or bending over to pick things up. A mobility disability has to do with the way someone can move. PTSD are letters that stand for post-traumatic stress disorder. PTSD is something that can develop in people who go through dangerous or scary things. For example, Someone who serves in the military can go through very difficult things and develop PTSD where they feel like they are reliving a bad experience or feel stress, anxiety, or like they have a hard time relaxing. Quick transition back to the office. Can you show some of the things that Wolf is being trained to do? Absolutely. So one of the things our dogs can do is help someone get up if they've fallen or maybe get out of a chair. So I'll reposition Wolf here. Wolf repositions himself so he stands on Jen's right side. Good, just to get him closer to me. Perfect, yeah, good. And then I'm gonna tell him brace, and that's just gonna give me enough support to kind of counterbalance my weight as I stand up out of the chair. Good boy, Wolf, thank you. Another thing Wolf can help me with is picking up dropped items. So if I drop keys, wallet, a phone, he can help pick it up off the floor and bring it to my hand. Wolf, get it? Bring it here. That's it. Give. Yes, good boy. Kids, I also just got to meet some veterans who have just met their new service dogs. Right now, I want to show you them and tell you more about how service dogs help people who have PTSD. A service dog named Papa runs through his field to his handler, Creighton. Papa, come. Good boy. Good boy. Papa and Bob are two service dogs that have just finished their training at Warrior Canine Connection and are now with their handlers who are veterans. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Creighton Scott is Papa's handler. Born, raised, I grew up in Houston, Texas. Uh, been a dog lover since I was really small. Joined the Marine Corps right out of high school. Did 30 years in the Marine Corps. Uh, retired and now here we are, here we are today. Creighton and Papa walked down a steep set of stairs together. Creighton and Papa had only been a team for four days when we interviewed them. Creighton came to Warrior Canine Connections headquarters in Maryland so they could meet and get used to each other. Part of the process of getting to know each other involves the team going out to stores together, like a supermarket and an outlet shopping center so they can practice being around other people and do stairs and escalators together. He's learning me, he's learning my, my cues and kind of what sets me off, and I'm doing the same for him this week. That's the biggest part of this week. Papa has already been trained and knows a lot of commands like sit, 
how to pick up or retrieve things, help open and close a door, be a brace for someone if they need help getting up, and even can calm someone down. Remember how Spike talked about PTSD. If Creighton is feeling stressed, Papa will know. Papa may see Creighton bouncing his leg or twiddling his thumbs, which can be signs of stress. But dogs can even smell if a person is stressed. Pretty amazing. So if I'm hyper-focused on things, I tend to always be on or always on high alert, always like prepping. Um, so he'll, him being there just kind of grounds me. And he does, he has a couple of techniques that does that. Uh, it's called like a tactile stimulation or a touch. He, he can put his hand on my, uh, he'll put his, his head on my leg or if, uh, or he, if I'm have my hands clasped together or twirling my thumbs, which is, which is a stress cue, he'll, he'll interrupt that and then he'll just come and kind of be present. And just, it's weird, just having, when I'm driving in traffic, traffic is one of my, uh, um, I guess, stressors. So just driving in traffic, just having him in the car, I, I drive different. It's almost like having a baby in the car by being in the car by yourself. So just having him with me is just is like that that buddy that buddy thing. A handler touches her face like she is worried about something, and a service dog puts his face in her lap and is petted. When Creighton and other handlers pet their service dog, it releases hormones or chemicals our bodies naturally produce, and that helps them relax. For people who struggle with PTSD going out in public is challenging. Um, and everybody obviously has different struggles, but typically having that reliable, they call them battle buddies next to their side, is what allows them to navigate these spaces. And so by having that trusted dog, not only are they able to get themselves to go to these locations, but when stress is spiking, that dog is there for that instant stress relief. Spike and Jen are back on camera in an office. Jen, your team does awesome work. If kids do see someone with a service dog, what is the most important thing they should know? The most important thing is to respect the team in general. So most of the time, we want to ignore the team as if a dog is not walking around in public. But if you'd like to say hello, it's important to always talk to the person first and then ask permission if you can interact. That's great advice, Jen. Kids never distract a service animal. It could be dangerous for both the dog's handler and the dog. We service animals do very important jobs. When you see us in public, we are working. Jen, thanks for inviting me here today. Yeah, see you again soon, Spike. We'll see you soon, kids. This was brought to you by funding from the National Institute of Disability, Independent Living, and Rehabilitation Research.